job is to return our company's former manufacturing sites back into productive uses, creating new jobs from new business opportunities that generate tax revenues for local communities in which they're located. The former DuPont East Chicago site is one of those properties. Since I understand that there have been questions about the potential redevelopment of the property, I want to provide a brief comment tonight regarding the status of those discussions. For many years, DuPont, and more recently our company, have worked cooperatively with the EPA to address the remediation of the former East Chicago property, including completing remediation of the natural area, the buffer area, interim remediation projects in the redevelopment area. Over the past two years, we have worked hard to identify a productive reuse for the property, which is one of the largest industrial zone sites available for economic development in Lake County. Last year, after completing an extensive search process, we entered into a preliminary agreement with a partnership of highly experienced developers to purchase the property. The partnership has 30 years of environmental experience, and they have conducted over 100 successful redevelopment projects. While the deal is not yet final, if things continue to proceed, the result is going to be a significant financial investment in the former DuPont East Chicago property for the community, new tax revenues for the city, and the creation of significant new local jobs. The first phase of the expected redevelopment would feature a new 1 million square foot high quality logistics center that will make use of the Gary Chicago International Airport and local rail, road, and port access to attract companies with quality jobs. This first phase is expected to generate approximately 1,000 full-time direct jobs and up to approximately 1,300 construction and indirect jobs. The developers have approached the city administrators with their plans and they would proceed through the normal process to obtain building and other permits that are necessary to begin construction. One aspect of the redevelopment that we're particularly proud of is that the developers will maintain a buffer space between the development area and the 172-acre natural area for preservation and conservation. They plan to transfer the conservation area to the Nature Conservancy to ensure that that area remains in a natural state in perpetuity. The developers also have plans for additional phases of redevelopment based on growth and market demand that may include further distribution space, additional job creation opportunities, and a workforce training facility. Regardless of this redevelopment potential, remediation of the former DuPont East Chicago property will proceed consistent with EPA's approved remedy and schedule. Our company will ensure the approved EPA remedy is fully implemented. To the extent feasible, remediation and redevelopment will be integrated, providing an efficient and effective approach to allow the developers to return the property to productive use more quickly. Our company has invested significant resources in the former DuPont East Chicago facilities remediation and we will ensure the remaining remediation work is fully completed and meets EPA requirements. All remediation work on this property will be continue to be funded by the property owners. No taxpayer funds will be used to complete the site's remediation. Once this public comment period is closed and the EPA remedy is finalized, our company and the developers can begin to work with EPA to develop an approved implementation plan. EPA will continue to oversee the project and to ensure that all remediation work on the former DuPont East Chicago property is completed as required, allowing for its safe redevelopment for future reuse. Thanks for the opportunity to come.